Hola Sagittarius Sun Cancer Moons. Welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you review it is when you're meant to see it. It does not matter the time of year. I am doing them in, I'm doing these in the order of requests in the comments. So be post, be sure to post up your request. And while you're waiting for your request to be done, check out my 2019 Sun Moon readings that are in my playlist. First portion of this reading will be me going over the traits of your sun moon combination. I will then lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2020. The second portion of this reading will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I'll have, we'll have a much deeper interpretation with clarifiers. We'll be dividing the year up into four separate quadrants. So let's get to the traits of your sun moon combination. Um, so you all are really quick to learn. You're very wise. Um, you are learners. You like to figure things out. You like to fix things on your own. Um, you know, if, if there's something, because you guys, it's the Sagittarius, the, the wise, the people of wisdom. Um, you're very adaptable, um, very flexible also. Sagittarius aspect of you really likes things that are adventures and exotic, um, language, you're curious about languages, you're curious about society, anything like that kind of um, grabs your interest. You can be a very emotional person, so, and that comes from your cancer, obviously. Emotional person, but on the surface, you have, you know, the look of an intellect, or you carry the look of an intellect, or somebody that's always learning, somebody that's a scholar. Again, very wise. You're very good-hearted. You can be very controlled. You have incre you're incredibly deep at times. You have awesome perception. You need to have your freedom. That is something that your Sagittarius side loves. You love a good dare. Um, very optimistic. And then your Cancer side can be very like cautious, inventive, creative. Your caution tends to hold you back when you have something impulsive or something you want to do. Like, you know, you think of something and you're like, oh, I want to do this. And your cancer kind of holds you back and said, uh, maybe you shouldn't do that. So over more, most Sagittarians, you have the tendency to be, be very careful before you jump into something. Alrighty. But, you know, the way that you saunter around and everything, people think you are very self-assured. You're a very capable person. You're very well-spoken. Um, sometimes you can be very profound. Um... You're intuitive so when it comes to people you kind of you can judge people your intuition can kind of help you get a gauge on people and how they are and if you think that somebody is not somebody you can trust somebody who isn't loyal you're usually correct and that's another thing about you guys you like to be right <laughs> hey I'm just saying you like to be right I mean who really likes to be wrong but you guys for the most part like to be right okay um, sometimes you imagine things and that can carry you away to fantasy lands and then sometimes it's hard for you to distinguish you know the difference between your dreams and the difference between reality so sometimes you need to get a little more grounded um, hmm. sometimes you might not have a tendency to carry out some of these dreams of yours because you could be a little complacent you could be too easily satisfied so you don't tend to kind of push yourself as much as you should push yourself. Home life is very important to you. You have to have an environment that's very happy, that's very content in regards to your home. And that's the cancer again. Um, you will get a lot of res um, admiration and respect because you have a certain appeal about you and your ability. So people do. They absolutely respect you. Um, don't do a little bit too much I, mean, I want to say thinking about yourself what is the term for that like kind of going within and and kind of withdrawing and kind of thinking um, very much about yourself I forget what that's called it's not coming to me right away you have a sensitivity to you uh, some of you might be um, drawn to spiritual things drawn to religious things not so much the occult I'm getting although you can kind of go that way too you like to, you like great adventures that have a lot of things to them. Both of your signs, like um, you imagine these great adventures. Your Sagittarius sometimes causes you to have these adventures. 
be careful. Sometimes you have paranoia, psychological um, phobias, illusions. Don't let your emotions carry you away. It can affect your judgment. It can affect your perception. Good part is, like I said, you can adapt to nearly anything. Any place you go can be your home because you find, you know, security and comfort is within yourself. Okay, so wherever you go is wherever you can make your home. Where is that saying, wherever I roam is my home, wherever I hang my hat, I forget. But whatever that is, it's you. So let's see what's up for your 2020. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please invite your truth, your wisdom, your clear, your insight for Sagittarius, Sun, Cancer, Moons for 2020? What do you see? What do they need to know? to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine. For their greater good, any messages you have will be greatly appreciated. Sagittarius, Sun, Cancer's Moon for the year 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know? What do you see for Sagittarius, Sun, Cancer, Moons for January, February, March? We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Upright. What do you see for Sagittarius, Sun, Capricorn, Moons for April, May, June? See the five of wands in reversed. Well, what do you see for Sagittarius Sun Cancer Moons for July, August, September? We have the two of swords in the upright. And what do you see for Sagittarius Sun Cancer Moons for October, November, December for 2020? What do you see? That was weird. Hold on. Let me get these straightened out. October, November, December, Sagittarius, Sun, Cancer, Moons, please. What do you see? What do they need to know? Knight of Cups. Uh, this is kind of all over the place. Okay, so I see you starting off the year. You're working really hard. I think, um, and it is, I think it's work-related. I think you're realizing in order to get to a certain place in your life, you're going to need to... Um, you're going to need to acquire a skill. You're going to need to work a little bit harder. Um, you're going to need to, I mean, the Eight of Pentacles could be a, a card of mastering a skill, going back to school, um, taking on an apprenticeship, doing what you have to do to make more money. So I feel like um, this is for part of you what you're doing. You're actually working um, very hard because you need to get a better job. You need to get a promotion. Um, you need to get something where you are right now. Um, you're not okay where you are. I feel like you want to elevate in status. Um, for some of you, it can also be you're working on a relationship in January, February, March, but I, I think it's more of a practical sense um, in regards to job, career, and kind of what's going on. April, May, June, we have a five of wands in reverse. So you're really, um, you're focusing on what priorities are important right now, okay? And kind of everything else, you're just kind of like pushing out. So I feel like you have goals in mind and things you have to do. And you know that you need to achieve these goals in order to have harmony come back to your life. So it might be that you need to get that certain kind of job so that, um, like I said, you, you have you know, resolution, you have harmony. Um, you're not struggling anymore as part of it too. Um, I feel like that's what it is. And, and you need to better yourself in an area in order to achieve this in April, May, June. July, August, September has you kind of sitting, having um, a decision that you need to make. And the advice that's kind of going along with this is just kind of sit tight on this for right now. Um, you can't really kind of judge what you're going to do based on what you see. What you see isn't what you get. So what you're going to need to do is kind of rely on other senses at this time. How do you feel about this decision? Um, what kind of compromises are you going to have to make? Um, there's an uncertainty that comes along with this decision and you're not sure what to do. And they're telling you to just kind of sit tight for a while um, until you know which way you want to go, until more information comes in, until things solidify, okay? Um, yes. End of the year, not so good. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is a card of disappointment. This is a card of um, emotionally being disappointed because of something. Uh, yes, emotions can be in the love department, so it can be somebody um, having issues where they don't want to commit, they don't want to have any follow through. Um, they could ha have emotional problems of their own. They're emotionally unavailable. Maybe they're jealous. Maybe they're moody. So this could be a person that's definitely like this. Advice that goes along with that is just to step away from this person. This could also be you, okay? <clears throat> but whatever it is, emotionally, there's a lot of disappointment. It's not going the way that you want it to go, all right? Um, some of you could be in an abusive situation. You know to get the hell out of that, right? It could be emotional. It could be physical. 
But whatever this situation is, you, it might have been the decision that you were making here. You go ahead, you make the decision, and then emotionally you're kind of let down in whatever regard that is. So I would say October, November, December in 2020 is going to be the down month that you want to look out for. I always say with these readings, hope for the best, prepare for the worst, or get a personal reading. Just send me an email. We can go ahead and set that up. Um, and click on the Vimeo link below. I'll be pulling clarifiers over here. We'll be going into this deeper to find out what's going on during these periods over the year. Um, please like, share, subscribe. I'm on the Instant Go app if you didn't answer to a quick question. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Insta. Um, and check out my playlist. I have tons of stuff in there in addition to compatibility readings. So good luck to you all in 2020. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.